I think they may be discontinuing the Valentino Roman stud bag. Whether that is true or not, this is a great time to go out and purchase this bag if you are interested and it's in your budget because the bag is on sale for like more than half off the price. And I'm talking a brand new bag. We're not talking, you know, pre-loved or anything like that. I put out a post, a short on this that I think it's Saks Off Fifth. They have this bag for 51% off the retail price. For more information on this bag, keep watching. Welcome to Keeping Up With The Collection, episode 17, Roman Stud Empire. Today I am reviewing the beautiful Valentino Roman Stud top handle bag. First, let's look at a little bit of the history. So it was spring of 2010 when the stud bags hit the runway. I don't think they were actually released in the stores until 2011, but they were on the runway in 2010. Then fast forward to 2021, Valentino released these larger than life Roman studs on their bags. The bag has sort of like a bucket shape and just like the name, it has a top handle. It also has a chain and a leather strap. But what is so distinctive about this bag is those large Roman studs as well as the maxi size quilting, diamond quilting on the bag. So let's take a look at a close up of this bag. So here is the front of the bag. So here's those beautiful large Roman studs. Here's that twist lock closure here that opens up to the front compartment. And it's just an open compartment here. The inside is beautiful Napa leather. And then also you have the back, which is, it has a magnetic, closure here and then when you open that up that's an open space as well but it does have a back pocket so yeah and then of course you got the top handle as well as the beautiful chain strap here and then here's the leather strap that has the roman stud on the outside of it the interior does not have the studs and the back of the bag, the very back, it does have studs on the back. No back pocket. It has studs on the back. So here's a close-up of this supple, beautiful lambskin Napa leather in this large diamond quilting. And the bag does have feet on the bottom. When it comes to sizes, there are three main sizes, mini, small, and medium, which also is being called large, but it's still the same size. It also comes in a lot of different materials like denim, wool, sequin, exotic. I've even seen a raffia version of this bag. This bag also comes in a variety of colors. Here's just a few that I found. This bag is very versatile. Like I said, it comes with a chain strap and a leather strap. So it allows for you to wear it crossbody or over the shoulder. It also has the top handle where you can wear it by the top handle. Moving on to best value. When it comes to the price, this bag is pretty expensive if you buy it directly from Valentino or at least it was when it was released. I don't know about now because it appears that it's not even available through Valentino any longer. So when it was released in 2021, it was 3150 and then the price went up. So in 2023, the last price that it was listed at was 3550. However, like I said, this bag is on sale for like more than 50% off. When I assessed the resale value, I looked at the Claire report 
as well as other articles on Valentino resale value. Based on the information that I found, it doesn't appear that Valentino bags really hold their value. So if you're thinking about purchasing as an investment, it may be risky. And I say that because on the resale market, this bag is listed way below retail. But on the flip side, if you like this bag and you just want to purchase it and, you know, have it as a part of your collection, it is great if for a buyer because the price is so low that you could get this for a steal. But again, if you're buying it as an investment and looking to get a return on your investment right now, it's not looking really good. So when it comes to popularity, I think when the bag first was released, it had some level of popularity. There was some advertisement with a lot of actors. So I think that kind of boosted the popularity for this bag. But I think that has definitely died down now. I think, you know, everybody's on to the next new It bag. When it comes to being unique and limited, this bag is unique. It is a pretty unique design. There's not other brands with an exact design like this, especially with the Roman studs. That's a lot of what makes it unique. Now the, you know, maxi size diamond quilting is very similar to the Chanel 19 bag. So there are some bags out that have that same similar, you know, style, but this is actually much less than that bag. And especially now that it's on sale, but it does come in some unique and limited colors. So this is my second Roman stud bag. I originally purchased a ivory color bag from the retailer full price and then i saw that they came out with the sorbet lime and i wanted the lime so it was too late for me to return the ivory color bag so i ended up selling that to one of the reseller sites of course they didn't give me back what i paid but it was just enough for me to get the lime color bag that I wanted off the resale market and also it would have been less than what I paid for the original so I ended up getting some money back so I think I was able to sell it for like just under two thousand dollars and this bag only costed I think fourteen hundred maybe so I was able to put some more money back in my pocket but when it comes to this bag I love everything about it except one thing i only have one complaint the studs in the back so and this is with all of the stud bags from valentino they have the studs in the back of the bag and if you decide to wear it crossbody those studs could press up against you or your clothing and that's not comfortable especially if the bag happens to swing or get pressed against you it could hurt so that's the only problem I see with this bag. Keep that in mind if you're interested in this bag. I love styling this bag. One of my favorite looks is this Tory Burch floral dress and these Cynthia Rowley shoes. I think the color combination is so gorgeous together. I feel like a garden <laughs> when I'm wearing this look. But again, this is one of my favorites. I have many looks that I can style this bag with. I always try to make sure I can style a bag with at least five or more looks before purchasing. Let's talk in the comments. What are your thoughts on the Valentino Roman Stud bag? Do you have one? Are you planning to get one? Have you heard anything about this bag being discontinued? Because I'm really curious about that. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.